Welcome back to the Angry Man Podcast with Jason and Greg. So, last week, Adrian Broner announced that he was signing with BLK Prime for a three-fight deal that was going to pay him at least $10 million. As a part of what we'll call his press conference, he mentioned the name Desmond Gums as being the CEO of BLK Prime. You guys may recall that name because I mentioned it in one of my prior videos, but I didn't do any research on Desmond Gums because he wasn't listed as an officer of the company. So, as promised, I've had the opportunity to sit down and here's what I found. So, let's switch monitors. Desmond Gums. You can see his profile here along with his profile picture. And he has his experience listed here. Not a whole lot, but he just gives kind of a summary of his experience. So, I'm going to read a little bit of this. As a director, Desmond Gum has been involved with various productions. He is the renowned director who directed the film titled Rude Boy, The Jamaican Don. It is the most acclaimed film with its Jamaican roots. And has been very popular. The way that that is written is very weird. That doesn't doesn't flow. This film is accredited by the movie critics and, and is counted in the same breath as Shada's Belly, The Harder They Come By, the International Movie Database. Okay, again, that's poorly written. It has been because of the efforts put in by Desmond Gums that a blend of Jamaican actors and American artists comes as pure delight to the cinema goers. Okay. I don't I don't particularly like how that was worded, but uh, Desmond Gums is in the entertainment business, which is definitely several steps up from some of the characters that we researched and found were officers or um, a part of the executive leadership team of BLK Prime. So that's a good thing. So let's continue doing research on Desmond Gums. Okay, Desmond Gums. So I started this way. You can look at his IMDb, find out that he's legitimate. The picture that comes up matches. Uh, not a whole lot of work here listed. It doesn't appear. Uh, Murphy's Law, Ascendia Heights, Don't Blink, Halloween House, Straight Out, Get Money. So not a whole lot, but he's, he's definitely in the industry. But here's where it got interesting for me, guys, because when you go down here, you don't really see a whole lot of stuff. But I always like to make sure I'm checking everything. So I clicked on images and I found this image right here. Oh, it's Desmond Gums, his LinkedIn image. Let me click on it. When I clicked on this LinkedIn image, I found another image that was linked to ripoff reports. So I clicked on that and visited the site. So Desmond Gums has a ripoff report. That's very interesting. So let's read one of them. Desmond Gums, Samuel Sapp, and their entire entourage of untalented nothings have been crisscrossing the country up and down California, ripping off crew, leaving them unpaid and hiring production facilities with no intent to ever compensate them for their time and work. Their thug mentality and backhanded inspirational speeches have no place in TV and film industry, and people need to stop working for them and realize what a poor situation their shoots are. They still owe me for a day's pay, and after months of going back and forth, I've reported them to the labor board, as I'm sure many others have as well. Investors should be warned as well. They will take your money, maybe spend one-tenth of it, then pocket the rest for themselves. That's interesting. This is all public information, guys. I'm just reading public information. That's all I'm doing. So, here's another one. Desmond and Terrence Hatter are both seasoned crooks. I have no idea who Terrence Hatter is. They dress nice and come with wild stories and dreams. We were fooled big time and giving them everything they asked for. We are in the process of taking them to court for a very large amount of money. That has never been paid to us for our time. Desmond Gum is a real estate scam artist that lives in Duncanville or Danville, California, or Blackhawk. That was his last that was last known of. Terrence Hatter is no angel. He's a true con artist and a serial liar. Someone is trying to cover his name, but please don't fall for it. Wow. And they have some other ones that are here, but uh that's interesting to, to see that stuff. Um, 
wow, that's that's pretty. I don't. So for me, I, it's concerned. There's some other ones here that I think um, are somewhat favorable, but it makes me wonder if these were reported to basically try to offset some of the the negative ones we found here. Um, I'm not going to go through his whole ripoff report, but again, uh, the only reason I even bring this up because it begs to question, you got a guy that's a CEO of a company that supposedly can pay uh, Terrence Crawford and Adrian Broner $10 million. There is a ripoff report that you can find as public ref record that says that he has had some shady dealings in the past. I don't know if this is true. I'm not reporting that is true. All I'm doing is reporting what is out there that is public information about BLK's prime CEO. So let's let's run through what we found so far. They've had a VP of production who had no previous experience and he was in real estate and now he's doing something else. They had someone who was uh, the VP of, I believe it was business affairs or marketing. I can't exactly recall. But she had no prior experience. She was in hospitality and now she's a school principal slash recruiter. And we found someone else who was a director of studios who now seems to sit houses. And now we have Derek, excuse me, Desmond Gums, who is the CEO, who legitimately has background in production and entertainment, but has a ripoff report of people accusing him of basically scamming folks. So I know this is the United States and we all get a second chance, but boy, backgrounds are always pulled up and this one looks a little bit shady. Now, we know a lot of people in boxing have had shady backgrounds, Don King being one of them. Um, so it doesn't necessarily mean that they won't be able to pay Terrence Crawford. But you got to ask yourself again, is this the type of entity that you will put your career into or let them manage you? Certainly, I wouldn't. That's all I got. This is the Angry Man Podcast, AM Sports Media, and I'm out.